Hey, this is Greg. We're at J Tech here in Jacksonville, Florida. We're about to show you how to go through a valve adjustment on this Caterpillar. Of course, the first thing you want to do, you actually want to get down inside the engine. So it's going to require the removal of this valve cover as well as the head. So while I'm doing that, let me take you through what we're going to do. On a typical valve adjustment, you need to start out a cylinder one, top dead center. It means compression. So you're going to have both your intake and your exhaust valves closed to adjust that. You're going to adjust your intake and your exhaust, and then you will go to cylinder number two. Cylinder number two, you're only going to adjust your intake. Go to cylinder three, you're going to adjust your exhaust. Go to cylinder four, you're going to adjust your intake. You go to cylinder five, you're going to adjust your exhaust. You then turn the engine 360 degrees. That way cylinder six right here, the one we haven't touched yet, is on top dead center. You're going to adjust its intake and exhaust. And then you're going to work your way back across the engine again. So, with cylinder number five, you're going to do intake. With cylinder number four, you're going to do exhaust. With cylinder number three, you're going to do intake. And with cylinder number two, you're going to do exhaust. And that's going to cover all of your rocker arms that operate your valves. You're going to have the full valve train adjusted at that point. You're ready to run the engine. So, once we get this head and valve come off, Exactly how to so now that we've got the valve cover and our upper head off, we can go ahead and pin the engine. Now down here you see I've got a little bolt right here. And that's going to hold the flywheel in a certain place. Of course connected to the crankshaft, connected to pistons. And right now the position it's holding it in is cylinder number 6, top dead center of the pressure stroke. So from here we're going to go through one direction on your valve train and we're going to show you how to adjust it. So, we're going to start out right here, cylinder 6, this is our intake valve rocker arm. We're going to slide a feeler gauge, a 15 thousandths feeler gauge, in between the valve cap and our valve bridge right here. So we're going to back off our adjustment screw. We've got our adjustment screw lock nut opened up. And we're going to take our feeler gauge, we're just going to slide it right on in there. What we're going to do go back to our adjustment screw and we're going to drop it down there to where we get a little bit of resistance as you can see it's holding itself up but we want to be able to slide it in and out with just a bit of resistance on it so there we go now we're going to run down Sloppy. You're going to lock your lock nut, move on, following the pattern intake exhaust. And open up our adjustment screw. And slide 30,000 feeler gauge in. Little bit of resistance. There we go. Lock nut on down. And just keep following your pattern. Intake, exhaust, intake. Just open that up. 15,000 speeler gauge. Run it on down. A little bit of resistance and tighten up your lock nut. So again, intake to exhaust, to intake to exhaust. Now this is going to be your starting point before you turn the engine again. We're going to need to turn it to cylinder one, top dead center, and start back the other way following the same pattern. So a 
thirty thousand spuler gauge here. Run that on down. A little bit of resistance, not a whole lot. Don't drop your tools while you're at it. Lock her up. And now you're good to go ahead and rotate your engine, repen it, adjust cylinder one, and run back the other direction. All right, so after we've ran it through from cylinder six, we turn the engine 360 degrees, repen it, and we're going to run it back through using the same pattern. You do your first cylinder, and then you go intake, exhaust, intake, and exhaust. We've adjusted all of that already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the upper head and the valve cover back on. We're going to run